everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. If you have followed along with me, you'll know that I enjoy going to retreats, and I also co-host one um, once a year in northern Alabama, and it's really fun, and yeah, if you're ever interested, reach out to me. I might be able to, uh, to find a spot for you. Anyhow... Um, in the past couple years, we've always done a secret sister where you buy like a $2 item and then you put a little note in it and your secret sister is supposed to then kind of guess who her secret sister is by the hints that you've given. Well, this year I thought, what can I do that would be different and still kind of be hints? And the other thing that happens is people find it hard to stick to the $2 gifts. So um, I thought, well, it's a creative retreat. Let's do something creative. So what I decided to do was three days you have to do three different creative things now. My thinking behind this was, is we all kind of have a style or maybe a technique that we really like, and hopefully this would be, you know, kind of clues, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So what I did is the first day you, were, you are to do a tag or a bookmark, the second day you're to have an ATC, and the third day, you're to have a postcard. So, you also need to wrap them up. And I have paper clips on these because once everybody gets there, we'll draw names. And then that's who our secret sister will be. And you have to attach the name on your um, creation for that morning. So, what I wanted to do today was to show you mine. And then I'm going to stop the video and... I'll come back later and show you what I got from my secret sister with that reveal. So my first one, like I said, is a tag or a bookmark. And this is how I'm going to wrap it up. And here is my tag. Again, if you know anything about me, you know I'd like to kind of upcycle things, use what I have, figure out a way to incorporate that something that maybe everybody else would just throw in the trash into something. So this is actually the cover um, to a pad of scrapbook paper. And then my next layer is book pages. And then this up here is a piece of a napkin. It had something funky over here on this side. I want to say like playing cards or something, but I liked that. That is a piece of chipboard. And this is Play-Doh that I got out of um, a magazine or a book that I've purchased one of those books where you think you're going to use it and then you're like, oh, yeah, this isn't for me. But there he was. And then a little Tim Holtz word. And then this is a fringe sample from all those like fabric samples and stuff I get. I used a fringe sample. So this is my tag. I mean, my bookmark. I didn't do a tag, a bookmark. And then let's open this one up. This is also, by the way, upholstery fabric. I found this product um, it's a deco kind of uh, Mod Podge type thing. Um, I think it's from Deco Arts. And you do it on fabric. And it kind of stiffens it up a little bit without making it totally stiff. Now let me take my ATC out of the sleeve so there's no glare. Now my ATC is on just a piece of scrap kind of... Um, it's like a notebook kind of thing. You can see the hole where it would go into the binder. Then the next layer is wallpaper, believe it or not. Those black leaves and stuff up under there were wallpaper. Then there's a napkin. And then where the daisies were, I did some diamond glaze. Um, just a little word sticker. This um, daisy is actually out of a strip of uh, ribbon. And then I um, glued some little micro beads to it. And this little flower is um, caulk. I have an old video where I showed you where I did caulk inside of some molds. Well, that's one of those, and I painted it up yellow. So that's my ATC. Now, this big old thing, of course, is my postcard. 
Now, I'm going to say this was upholstery fabric that was a little thicker and it was really woven and I really wanted to try it. So my envelope is a little wonky, <laughs> but, but nonetheless, it's going to be what it is. And then I used some coffee dye paper on the back and then I had this postcard stamp and I kind of tried to mask that part off. It says this card um, hand stamped by. So I got rid of that part, but here's my postcard, and I actually had some old stamps that I used. Now for the postcard, what's going to happen is when we draw everybody's names, um, the piece of paper this year, instead of it just having a name, I actually did their name and address. <clears throat> so that's who you'll know your secret sister is. So by the third day, you should have already hung out with your secret sister a little bit, you can go ahead and fill in her name and address as if you really were going to send this card. And then over here, I've asked everybody to write an inspirational note to their secret sister. I think that'll be a lot of fun and make it more personal. Now, here is my postcard. I had some ugly glaze stuff that, again, was a sample that I had gotten from where I used to work. And I rubbed it on an index card. And then this was a napkin. Um, I guess it was done in a swap or something because I only have one. and But it had gold in it and I thought it was so pretty. So I did that and then I hand stamped a piece of um, coffee stained paper. And on this case I cut up a cork and then I stamped it with these little Tim Holtz stamps that I had. And then this is a napkin off of another um, napkin. So that's my postcard. So these are the three things that I am going to be given to my or giving to my secret sister. So now, like I said, I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll be back in a second, and uh, I'll show you what I received. So, like I said, it'll be a second for you, but it'll be a couple of weeks for me. See you in a minute. So here we are at part two. I've been to the retreat. And let me tell you, it was wonderful, wonderful, if I should say so myself. Annette helped me this year, and we had a big time. We did all kinds of different things and new things, and we had five nights, which is longer than we've ever had before. And sure, I think actually that day that last day before that last night I'll have to say I think some of us were getting a little tuckered out but it was a lot of fun it really was we met some new people we had lots of things to sell we had lots of things to buy lots of things were given and there were a whole lot of ideas shared um, things that folks had never seen before so it was definitely a success um, I had maxed out the venue, and the very next day, I've already got the venue full for next year, same time, same place. So I'm pretty excited about that, you know, because you always worry if you're going to get enough people, and I actually have a waiting list. Um, some that came this year, unfortunately, will be on a waiting list, but you never know what could happen. So anyway, let's get to the main thing here. You saw earlier in this video what my secret sister went to my buddy Kathy who lives in Mississippi. And uh, I think she was tickled with what I did. But she did indeed guess that it was me just after she received my bookmark and then she received my ATC and she knew it was me. So my secret sister was Nancy. And here is her bookmark, her ATC, and her postcard. Yep, do you see a theme? She is a dot queen. And she has done some beautiful dot drawings, paintings. And she, one year she gave everyone at the retreat their initial. And it had the dot, and some people say mandalas, some people say mandelas. Had the dot art on them. And this year, I was fortunate enough to be the receiver of some of her dart, dot paintings. Excuse me. So, since they're all pretty much the same, there's not a whole lot to, to really look at and explain. Um, it is what it is. 
So with that being said, if you're ever interested, you never know, I might have an opening, reach out to me. I do it in Alabama, northern Alabama, and I do it usually the first week of August. This time it has extended into July a couple of days, um, but that's the time frame. So again, I would appreciate um, if you come back. I try to do a video every Tuesday evening. I put it up 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I do have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, I have my own personal Facebook. And I'm on Pinterest. And I have a small shop on Etsy. Not a whole lot of goodies, but I do have some. So I would appreciate if you check me out. And that's it for now. And I'm going to ask you to behave. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.